Hello, my name is Angela and I'm going to read you the story of the Nutcracker and it's written by Jamie French and it's illustrated by Lucy Barnard. Now if you've got the book, why don't you run away and find it and come back and settle by me and we could read it, toge read it together, couldn't we? It was Christmas Eve and there was going to be a big party. The Christmas tree sparkled with lights and baubles. It's so pretty, cried Mari. Soon the guests arrived. The house was filled with music and dancing. As Mari danced, a figure appeared in the doorway. It was Drosselmeyer, her godfather. Drosselmeyer was a famous toy maker and he had brought gifts for everyone. Drosselmeyer had an extra special gift for Mari. It was a wooden nutcracker in the shape of a man. <clears throat> Mari loved playing with her nutcracker, but her brother was jealous. It's not fair, he cried. Then he grubbed, grabbed the nutcracker and threw it across the room. Crack! Went its head as it hit the floor. Oh dear, dear, dear. Mari ran to pick up her nutcracker tears rolling down her cheeks. Very carefully, she unwrapped a ribbon, she wrapped a rib ribbon around the nutcracker's broken head. Then she placed him under the Christmas tree and went to bed. Mari couldn't sleep, so she crept downstairs to give her nutcracker a hug. As the clock struck 12, something magical happened. Huge mice appeared from the corners of the room and the Christmas tree started to grow. The nutcracker started to grow too and big boy toy show, oh sorry, big toy soldiers appeared. Bravely, the nutcracker and the toy soldiers battled the fearsome mice. Look out, called Mari, as the mouse king attacked the nutcracker. She threw her slipper at the mouse and he fell down. The mice disappeared, beaten. Suddenly, Glittery snowflakes flurried around Mari, and in the nutcracker's place stood a handsome prince. You have saved me, he said. Come with me to my kingdom, the land of sweets. Oh, yum, yum. Mari and the prince were greeted by the pretty sugar plum fairy. The prince explained how Mari had saved his life. To celebrate, the sugar plum fairy put on a dance show. Everyone was dressed like a sweet. Soon it was time for the last dance. As the sugar plum fairy and her sweetheart danced for Mari, and the prince, a magical sleigh appeared to take them home. Remember me, whispered the prince as they flew away. <laughs>